That's right, people. I'm coming back, and I'm coming back very soon. So if you're new to this channel, my name's Brandon Bruce, and welcome to Escaping Comfort Zone. So I'm all about pushing people outside of their comfort zone to travel the world and experience a new life like no other. So before I jump into any of my Philippine plans, um, I'm just gonna tell you what's been happening and my experiences through Sri Lanka. So if you haven't noticed before, I have spent, well, how long has it been now? I think I've spent the past two months now, two whole months in Sri Lanka. I come here originally thinking I was gonna be here no longer than one month, but Sri Lanka just reeled me in. Like, I just fell in love. I come here around October for a Tuk Tuk tournament, and hands down, this Tuk Tuk tournament has been the best experience I have ever experienced on all my travels. Like, it was over a two week period, there was 35 teams, and we we're all, it wasn't per se a race, but we we all had to complete challenges day by day, and each challenge really pushes outside of our comfort zone. That's exactly why I love this tournament, because it's sort of what my channel's all about, pushing outside of my comfort zone, and every day we did exactly that. <laughs> we just had the wildest adventures, and it was really insane some of the paths we went down, and what the tournament ended up turning to be was like, 20 times better than my expectations. So if you haven't already guys, be sure to check out that Tuk Tuk tournament series because it will blow your mind and you'll see if I actually won the tournament because winner takes home 2,000 US dollars, what? So be sure to watch that Tuk Tuk tournament series because I don't remember how many I have, but I think, yeah, I think there's about like 14, 15 episodes just on that series. Each day is as crazy as the other, so you won't want to miss out on that. And then after the Tuk Tuk tournament, I spent some time editing those videos, of course, because I just had so much to catch up on. But thanks to tuktukrental.com, they actually took me into their home and let me stay here for free accommodation just in exchange for promoting their business through my videos. So this is where I am right now. I'm just staying at that house and it has been such an amazing time here. Like the people that work at Tuk Tuk Rental are the most amazing, heartwarming people to let me in. Because some of you may know that as a solo backpacker, it is very hard being on the road like 24 seven, like going from location to location to location and usually staying at little ho hostels. Um, I'm always like running around and it is just complete constant and wild. So having like this home base here in Tuk Tuk Rental has just been really good because I don't have to worry about booking somewhere else and yeah, I can just base myself here and focus on all the videos, which has been great because I've been pushing out so many of these videos. And as you're watching this video right now, I have posted this one out earlier compared to some of my other videos and adventures that I've had throughout Sri Lanka <clears throat> because after I spent a bit of time editing at the Tuk Tuk Rental, um, I had a fair bit of time off and me and a guy named Tal, he has a YouTube channel from The Travelling Clat. He also competed in the Tuk Tuk tournament. You have may seen him in some of my previous videos, but we decided to adventure around the north part of Sri Lanka. So we went as far down to Yala National Park. We sort of started there and then we went up the east coast all the way north to Jaffna, as far north as you can go, and then come down the west coast back to Colombo. So after these, after this video, um, I will be putting up those videos. And also, <laughs> I'll see how I go, but I think I have enough videos to go daily from here on in. So from today, I am going to be posting out one video every single day, that's right, every single day up until the end of December. I'm I'm very dedicated in like how much I want to push out these videos and I'm really going to set a goal to try to push out one video every day until the end of December and then January for me will just be chill time because whew, it has been friggin flat out. Oh and also a side note, so because I am posting up a video every single day from now, it's gonna be Sri Lanka videos 
pretty much until I get to the Philippines. And then once I'm in the Philippines, I really want to post some up-to-date videos while I'm there because I really just want to push out like my Christmas adventures, my Christmas videos and my New Year's videos. So it's pretty much going to be Sri Lanka videos, Philippine videos and then maybe some more Sri Lanka videos in the end and then I'll be going back to Philippine videos. So yeah, that is my plan guys. But after my two week adventure traveling north of Sri Lanka and my other two week adventure doing south of Sri Lanka during the Tuk Tuk tournament video, all I can say is I love Sri Lanka. Like I come into this country not knowing what to expect I did not know it was going to be this amazing and the experiences I've had, local people I've met, everything about this country has just been amazing. And after my many weeks of travelling throughout Sri Lanka, I was very surprised to notice of how little tourists there were. Um, I don't really want to get too much into the details but during April this year there was a devastating event and it literally just completely killed off the tourism throughout this country. And a lot of foreigners just got to the stage where they felt like it wasn't safe to visit Sri Lanka. And after all my time here, trust me, I have never felt safer in any country than Sri Lanka. Like, there is even places from where I live at home, I am spectacle about going out at night or like I feel unsafe compared to Sri Lanka like everywhere I feel safe um, because mainly because there's so many police you will see police every single place you go like driving along the roads you'll always see police along the side of the roads but trust me guys just because that one bad event happened several several months ago do not let that discourage you from visiting Sri Lanka because it is a lot safer than you think and you will have the time of your life here I've always said Sri Lanka is sort of mixed between Indonesia and Malaysia so coming from Indonesia, they have beautiful beaches over there and they have so many waterfalls. And Sri Lanka has exactly that. Sri Lanka has beautiful beaches down the south coast and some parts of the east coast and the waterfalls. Oh my God, if you go like inland around the mountain areas, waterfalls are just insane. They're so big here. And then being similar to Malaysia as well, they had a lot of tea plantations. So when you go inland, you have tea plantations like a whole mountainside. And like, it, they were bigger than most of the tea plantations I saw throughout Malaysia. And also the roads here, the roads are great. I was, like every Asian country I go to now, or majority of the Asian countries I go to now, I just expect the roads to be horrible. Because Indonesia, oh my god, the roads in Indonesia were just rough. There were so, so many potholes and rough and yeah, it was not fun. Um, but here, yeah, pretty much majority of the places I went to around Sri Lanka, the roads have been great and it just made it such, so much more of a greater experience driving my tuk-tuk around. So if you're ever thinking about visiting Sri Lanka guys, take yourself on a tuk-tuk adventure through tuk-tuk rental because you will have the time of your life. Links are in the description if you wanna check it out. And also, if you're thinking about doing the Tuk Tuk Tournament 2020, check that out as well, because that will take you on your wildest adventures. All right, enough about Sri Lanka. Let's get into my future plans, and let's talk about the Philippines. So, oh my God, the Philippines. I can't believe I'm going back. So last time I was in the Philippines, it was in May of last year. So this is the first, May of last year was the first time I've ever visited Asia. And the main reason I went to the Philippines last year was for an exciting moment as well. So you, I don't know if you may have seen it, but I met up with Jordan from his YouTube channel, The Life of Jordan, and he held a travel continuously um, like sort of workshop group. So I won this competition to do this work class with Jordan and I think there was like 10 other people that won it as well. And Jordan was just teaching us how to travel the world and make a living from it. So that was that sort of my beginning stages. Um, and I really was 
new to everything and I just wanted to know like how this all works. So as you've noticed, I have traveled a lot now. Like I have traveled continuously from January this year, nonstop. I quit my job and every day has just been one adventure after the next. And after looking back on my videos in the Philippines, I, I'm just amazed to see how far I've come and how far my vlogging has come as well. So I'm a lot more confident now vlogging in public and just vlogging in general. And I have so much more understanding of how this travel work lifestyle works because yeah, like you can do it people, you can do it. But last time I was there, I spent one whole month and I sort of just did like the main tourist spots. Like I went to Koron, uh, Palawan Islands, then I went to Cebu, Bahol, and yeah, I think that was pretty much the main places I went to. But I really want to spend a good amount of time in the Philippines this time. And I'm just looking forward to the beaches, the blue ass water, and the sunshine, because I really need it. Coming from Australia, of course. So plans are, I will be flying over to Manila, on the 23rd. I'm gonna be landing in Manila on the 23rd of December. I know, it's coming it close to Christmas. It is literally two days before Christmas, but that is when I'm gonna arrive there. And I'm gonna arrive with my new friend, Tal. So as I mentioned before, I've been traveling around Sri Lanka with Tal from his YouTube channel, The Traveling Clap. Also, if you haven't already, check out his YouTube channel because he has been traveling the world for five years straight now and he has absolutely epic content. So his link is in the description below, so be sure to check that out. So yeah, we are gonna be traveling together and I think we're gonna be traveling together around the Philippines for maybe one or two months. So you'll be getting to know him very well and you'll be seeing him often throughout my vlogs. Um, and I think it's gonna be, this is gonna be like the second, no, no, third time I'm gonna spend Christmas and New Year's in a foreign country. So I'm, I always get really excited sparing, spending Christmas and New Year's in a foreign country just because it's so different, like the way they spend it and their, their culture. But I'll be spending Christmas and New Year's just in Manila. So I think we're gonna be spending around two weeks in Manila. And then after Manila, we're sort of gonna be heading east. Uh, we're gonna be heading down that East Island and sort of making our way down and then heading to a whole Cebu and a bunch of other islands. But I have much more time. I have like three months. I think, yeah, I've got up until March because around March 12th, I'm gonna be heading over to Vietnam where I'm gonna meet up with my sister and brother and some of my other friends as well. So that's pretty much my deadline. I just, I have up until March until I have to head over to Vietnam. But yeah, within that time frame, it's all Philippines, baby. So it's gonna be Philippines for the next few months and I'm getting so excited for it. And as you saw from the previous videos from last time I was in the Philippines, I had such a great time there in just one month. And whew, I, I don't know what's in store for like the next three months. It's, it's gonna be an adventure, guys. It's gonna be an adventure. And I hope every single one of you can join along with me on this wild adventure. And to all my Filipino followers, please don't be afraid to Instagram me. Don't be afraid to message me if, you, if I'm in your area. And yeah, all I can say from here on in is get ready, Philippines because here I come. Yew.